Hello, friends. Today's agent of deterioration actually warrants this ridiculous costume that I'm making you suffer through for 10 straight videos. We are going to be talking about thieves and vandals. Most of the other agents of deterioration are based on things like natural elements, nature, and the atmosphere. But this one is purely based on human interaction, theft, and destruction of cultural heritage. Security is something that is extremely important for cultural heritage institutions or collection storage facilities because people are horrible and think that stealing art will make them a lot of money, or that vandalizing an artifact is just like a fun thing to do on a Friday afternoon. Ugh, I just don't understand some people, you know? Let's define these two nerdy wills quickly so that way we're all on the same page. Theft is the premeditated taking of an object by illegal means. And I know we all think of museum heists as these amazing like Thomas Crown Affair or Ocean's 8 productions. But in reality, most museum thefts are done at the spur of the moment, with someone taking carpe diem to just the next level and taking advantage of a situation and trying to make a run for it. We don't hear about too many museum thefts, but not all of them are reported or make front page news, so they are more common than we think. Vandalism is also a premeditated act where damage is done to an object. This could range from disfigurement to complete and total destruction. With museums, again, most of these acts are opportunistic with some kid wanting to write their name on a, a statue or something. Of course, as history shows, there are some people who have organized and planned out acts of vandalism for protests or political reasons. Just look at Palmyra. Ah, uh, I can't. It hurts. A lot of vandalism can also happen due to religious intolerance or racism. So how can museums and other cultural institutions protect themselves from these guys? Lots of ways. The first thing is to determine what assets you want to protect. In an ideal world, every object would be granted the same amount of security and protection. But due to budgets and space constrictions and things like that, the most valuable objects are given the greatest attention. And we can go into what makes one piece of art more valuable than another, but I feel I feel like that debate is better left for another video or another discussion or debate and just not here. But this is something that you need to consider when looking at a collection because people that are looking to steal or vandalize are most likely going to try and go for the big kahunas instead of smaller fish that aren't as valuable. From there, you then need to determine what measures you can implement to deter and prevent these crimes. For example, you could implement security zoning where you design your space into a series of zones with various security levels so it's easier to handle. So if we're looking into making zones, you would have something like a public zone where you have things like your lobby, your cafeteria, and the public parking where anyone can come in. From there, you have one step further in like a security zone, which could be staff entrances and workspaces. Then you've got higher security zones like conservation labs, photo studios, records rooms. And finally, you have the highest security areas, which would be the server room and the collection storage and anything else that you really need to keep very, very secure. Different people have varying levels of access to each of these zones. This makes it a lot more manageable and that way you know who can go in and out of these high security areas by limiting access to the people who actually need to go into these zones and work there. With all crimes, you want to make sure that you can detect them as quickly as possible. This means putting in a lot of different security measures. The biggest things to have, of course, are security cameras. That way you can have eyes on all areas of the building to monitor if anything is happening or about to happen. Motion detectors and trip switches on doors and windows are good for if someone is trying to sneak in. And having actual security staff is super important because just the visual presence of someone can be a huge deterrent for would-be thieves and vandals. If you're being watched, you're much less likely to do something in comparison to when no one's there, right? If anybody does try something, quick response is super important because you have a greater chance of stopping the theft or vandalism while it's happening, or at least catching the person soon afterwards. Documentation is super important if anything does happen. And of course, you have to call the police and report it. Now, I just need to put this out there as like a public service announcement or something to cover all of my bases. Do not steal art. Do not vandalize art. Doing this stuff will get you absolutely nowhere. Stealing art is not a get rich quick Scheme because all of the pieces are highly valuable and they are super difficult to sell because everyone is going to be looking for them. Also, just don't steal art because it's bad and 
illegal. This also goes for looting archaeological sites, digging around to see if you can find anything, or just picking something up that you find on the ground while you're visiting a historic area. It's not cool. Stones from Hadrian's Wall are just, they're not souvenirs. And while we're at it, don't vandalize art or historic buildings either. You might think it's cool to write, you know, Mark and Julia forever on a stone surface, but guess what? You and Julia are probably gonna break up anyways, and now you've gone and done something incredibly stupid and put a regrettable tattoo on a stone wall. No one wants to know that you were here in 2004 either. Also, if you're angry with someone or at something, please do not take it out on the art. It never did anything to you. And don't think I won't catch you either. This trench coat gives me special powers. <sighs> All right, there's my tirade over. There you have it, friends. Thieves and vandals, an agent of deterioration carried out by people who don't respect cultural heritage. If you liked that video, go ahead and smash that like button down below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any of the other agents of deterioration. Big thanks to all of my patrons over on Patreon. If you like the channel and want to support it, go on over to Patreon and become a patron. The link to that is in my description. Here's all my socials, and I'll see you all with the next agent in three days. Stay dirty, my friends.